morning good morning today is september the 13th wednesday september the 13th and i am currently at the salon counting well we have like chips and drinks and stuff so i'm separating the change right now counting the change so i can go get some more chips and drinks because we're pretty much out right now i'm the only person here so i know cleaned up And uh, now I'm sitting here doing this. I don't have a client for another, like another hour and a half. And I'm also, I had to come up here a little bit earlier because we got a vacant spot next to us. And for some reason, my, our landlord thinks that I'm over, I'm his management. He stays out in um, Texas. So he always like have me like show do stuff, handle stuff that he can't handle while he here. Is this the person? I hope this is the person that's coming to get that key because you holding me up. Hold on, y'all. I'm be back. Okay, y'all. That was her coming to get the keys to the uh, space. Thank God because I didn't want to leave and go to the store and then she come looking for those keys. So we got that out the way. Um, they're putting a church next to us. In which I hope that is, I don't know how that's going to work out. Because it used to be an event center next to us. And the girl used to rent out her space to people and let them like um, have gatherings there. And one time she let a church ceremony. So well, some church people have a gathering there. And when I tell y'all, they was knocking everything off the walls. All my pallets decorations off the walls because they were playing tamarines and drums and it was so darn loud and we had to listen to it for like four hours three hours on like a saturday like i left here with a headache it was so loud so fingers crossed god please don't punch me because thank you lord please don't punch me but please don't let these people be playing them drums and tangerines as uh, tangerines that I was <laughs> girl why you always messing up words y'all know what I'm talking about <laughs> anyway please don't be playing them real loud and we can't hear our TV and our clients talking but I mean uh, for the most part we closed on Sundays and um church is typically on Sundays and then they might be there on like a Wednesday night or something like that you know um bible study or something like that but um i just hope it work out and then even with the parking lot the parking i should talk to this man and tell him sir let let me tell you what to put on there put over there but see you know how they be they just want want money right now please anybody just rent our space anyways so i'm gonna sit here and i'm gonna separate this change and um like i said we're gonna work today we don't really have no plans today but i just want to pick y'all up anyways we'll probably go have lunch oh y'all i've been doing good on my little diet you know what i'm saying i've been working out and um yeah i've been doing pretty good can y'all see it nope because the scale ain't moving y'all can't see it so uh but I'm thinking I might go get me a salad or something. I might just, just to get out the house a little bit. Uh, the last few days, I've been stuck in the house not doing that. Really, I, I've been stuck in the house not doing that for dang like a week. Just been at the house, which is a good, it's a good thing because I have not been spending unnecessary money. Um, well, I'm lying. I went on Amazon and ordered some stuff yesterday. But... Whatever, I needed it. So, I, I ordered me some Oxy Shred because I seen the girl said, because my Celsius and my coffee and stuff ain't working. And I'm gonna try the Oxy Shred, see if it can just like give me that boost in the morning to work out harder or work out longer. And then also just speed up my metabolism to kind of burn. I think that's my, my big, the biggest problem is my metabolism is not burning off um the fat like it used to like 
you know, you start getting older and your stuff starts slowing down. So, I think that's what it is because I really do not eat a lot. I don't eat a lot, so I don't understand, like, girl, why is you gaining so much weight? Because you don't eat a lot. So, it's got to be the fact that I just really don't be, um, my metabolism ain't speeding the way it used to. So, anyways, that's enough rambling already early in the morning. I enjoy being here by myself. I enjoy being here by myself. I'm so happy ain't nobody here yet. But let me count this change and then I'm gonna come back. Y'all, I it's clear that the people ain't putting this out putting the money, they getting stuff and they not putting the money in the uh chip and the drink jar because it should be way more money than this. And so therefore I'm just only going about drinks. I ain't buying y'all no chips and stuff. Y'all not getting no chips. Because y'all don't do right. Let's see what the hype is. Let's see if they good. Good morning. Happy Saturday. Today is Saturday. I ain't come back the last time. I ain't come back after I had lunch. But today is Saturday and it's an all day affair with us today. Yes, it is. As you can see, your girl ain't got nothing done to this head. The reason I ain't got nothing done to this head is because I took those two braids out and um, I just wanted to give my hair just like a little break from doing something back to it again for a couple of days so i'm going to and also i ordered a wig from amazon it's supposed to come today i want to try the little um uh, i'm gonna try out the what is it called it's not a mohawk mullet i got a, a mullet wig from amazon so we're gonna try that out together and i really because i was gonna do my hair in that style in a quick weed but i was like that ain't nothing i want to have for no long time it's just something i want to have for a particular um little outfit or whatever but outfits hairdos matter with outfits let me tell y'all right there right now depending upon how your hair is uh, what kind of outfit you wearing? You can't wear certain hairdos with certain outfits. It just don't. You got something on that comes up here. You shouldn't have nothing all flowy down here. You need something up. You know, whatever, whatever. Anyways, y'all know your girl will get off in another world talking about something else. See, just like that, I see a for rent sign and I want to turn down there and see what's for rent. Why? When you buying a house, girl. Just to be nosy. I'm nosy like that. Anyways, another reason I'm probably on 10 is because I started drinking the Oxy Shred in the morning before I work out. Your girl is doing really good. But I started drinking the Oxy Shred in the morning before work. Damn. In the morning before I work out. And it is it's doing what it needs to do. The first day I just put like one scoop in and it did what it needed to do. But like the next couple of days after that, I ordered it from Amazon along with a whole bunch of other stuff needs to for them but anyways that oxy shred it gets the job done baby it makes your girl go so and like i said i've been working out uh drop maybe 2.7 pounds uh the thing is just keeping it off it's the thing because i can drop i can drop a couple of pounds but baby keeping it off it's one thing and also i have not had any coffee no coffee go me and i would say probably a week yeah a week 
because I think I had some last Saturday before I went to work. And it's Saturday. So, yeah. I'm doing good. Proud of myself. Um, well, there y'all go with the bullshit. Anyways. <laughs> Let me get off of you. Let me get off of you, because... Run up to Walmart to get some bacon, eggs, and, um, bacon, eggs, and there go them damn brakes. Stop playing, huh? Running up here to get some bacon, eggs, and hash browns so I can make some breakfast bef before I go to work for Junior. I actually did not have to go in really early like I usually do on Saturdays, um, and I got like an in and out day. So, it ain't supposed to rain, but we ain't finna let that bother us. We finna, we finna have fun today. We finna enjoy our day. So, I'ma be back in a minute. Back home, back home. And I am on my motherly duties this morning. Cause I ain't gonna be on them later. So I'm up in here making this boy some breakfast before I go to work. Um, some hash browns. Uh, and bacon, egg, and cheese biscuits. So, I got the biscuits in the oven. Ow. I got the biscuits in the oven, and I'm about to put these hash browns in the air fryer, make the bacon and eggs, and your girl is going to be done. Clean my kitchen back up, and then get ready to um, get ready to go to work and do these few clients so we can get up out of there and come on home and put some clothes on and get ourselves together put some lashes on put some get some i'm gonna feel pretty i got this little 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 back ponytail right now but my hair is growing so darn fast like i started letting my hair grow out from that short haircut about when i looked at my phone at some pictures it was like april no, March, 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 when I started letting it grow out because I end up getting some um, braids around that time. That's when I started my growing journey. So April, May, June, July, August, September, it's been six months and my hair is here from a shave off. So I think, I don't think, I know this pretty good because I'm a hairdresser and I know what I'm talking about. So yeah, that's what we're doing and I really, y'all, I don't know what we're going to do today, but I know we're going to do something, very much so something, because your girl be in the bed every night, every night, by like 7 o'clock, not doing anything, and yeah, so I'm going to find me something to do, and be in the bed alone every night, yeah. That's what happens when you're single. So, um, strolling through TikTok. Stuck on the TikTok. When I tell y'all, TikTok be getting the best of me at night. But I be, I be cracking up on TikTok at night. Um, my son probably like, this lady crazy. But yeah, so it be me and TikTok at night. Me and Instagram. Me and YouTube. Watching YouTube. I be finding something to do at night. And don't be, yeah, whatever. So, but not tonight. Oh, yeah, and then today is my girl Dominique's birthday. Happy birthday, Buki. Happy birthday. So, yeah, it's my friend's birthday. She told me she don't want to, at first she was saying we was going to do something. Now she's saying she don't want to do nothing. She done pulled on me this year. Same thing I did this year. She was like, I don't want to do that thing. Um, I done changed my mind. I don't want to be blowing no money, doing a birthday party, doing all this or whatever. So, um, she don't want to do nothing. But hopefully, fingers crossed, she want to do some dinner or something. I should have just planned something and then tell her just planned something and told her to find something to put on and come on. But, I don't know. Hopefully, sis get her life together tonight and we find something to do but if she don't we we 
us is still doing something. We're going to find us something to do if we got to do it solo. But I got a feeling we ain't got to be solo. Because one thing about her, she's a team player. And she going to, even if she ain't all the way put together, she's still going to be like, all right, bitch, let's go. You want to go? Let's go. So my friend, all my friends pretty much spoil me. They, uh, well, all my friends, like you got a lot of them, girl, you ain't got no friends. But my little two, three friends that I got, um, they spoil me, especially Dominique and Tynette. Like if I be like, I want to do this. I ain't got nobody to do it with me. Come on. They'll be like, all right. But, um, uh, yeah, I really don't have no friends. And I think that's why I be in the house too, because. My friend that I used to hang out with. Now, we used to be on go mode. When I tell you, me and sister girl was going to go somewhere every freaking Saturday. We was going to eat. We was going to do something. She kept me on my toes. I low-key kind of miss her a little bit. But, um, yeah, it is what it is. But, uh, we used to be gone. That was my, that was my eating dog. But, uh, anyways. Lots, lots, let's, let's finish and get ready for work. So I hope that we come kind of early because I ain't got all day to be looking like this. If not, we're going to have to do a slick, long ponytail or something, but yeah, something. Yeah, I done made it to work and <sighs> I done made it to work and one thing about me, I cannot leave the house without making sure my house is clean. Um, like I said, I made breakfast this morning and um, I have to clean my kitchen back up after I finish cooking. I cannot, my mess will just be thrown all the way off if I know I left dishes in my sink or I left the house not looking presentable. Like, it just... What if I get to where I'm going, like I'm just my energy gonna be off because I feel like I'm thinking about the fact that my house is left a mess or something. So like I don't care what I'm doing, I don't care. I'm I will be late when it comes to cleaning back up and washing my ass. I'm I'm gonna take a bath. I'm gonna take a bath. Even though I take a bath that night and it might be like, Oh well dang, you just took a bath last night. You ain't did number went to sleep. I'm gonna take a bath before I go somewhere. Like I go up to the store without taking a bath and like get something or whatever. But like when it comes to like coming to work or something like that, no ma'am, I'm gonna take a bath. But um, so with all that being said, even though I got up extra early, I still was like. I felt like I had a lot of time. I do that all the time. I feel like I got a lot of time. I get up real early and I feel like, oh, I got time. I could do this, that, and the third. So I was doing all that. Then I looked at the time. I'm like, oh, you need to be getting up out the house. So Rush took me a bath and everything, got out the house. I always like to show up to work like 15 to 20 minutes. Not 15, really like 20 to 30 minutes earlier to make sure I um get set up and everything get work. And then I don't be really be knowing, especially on like, weekdays i don't be knowing how the salon been left from the night before so i like to get up because i don't like my clients coming into like a mess i don't like it so um anyways so today though it was like a yeah you're gonna get there like five ten minutes before your client get there but at the same time in my brain i'm thinking like you know who what client this is she's never on time she's never on time so girl don't rush She's never on time. She's going to be seven minutes or more late every time. So, I'm still kind of like, yeah, I still want to get there, you know, properly right or whatever. Chai, I get here. I'm sitting here. Why sister girl text me? Let's see. I don't want to lie. Text me at 9... 50 9 51 she texted me at 9 51 y'all can't see it and said uh hey i'm gonna be running a few minutes late i locked the keys in the car and they're here now finishing up 9 51 and your appointment 
is at 10. They finishing up. You stay a good 20 minutes away. You're going to be about 20, 30 minutes late. Which is going to run into my next person. Because she's going to be on time. One thing about her, she's going to be on time. So she'll be here at 1030. So, and I understand things happen. But people that's always late, always late, always got an issue. It'd be hard for people to believe you when something happened because it's like it's an ongoing thing like you you always do this you always do this it's always a train it's always a this it's always a that like jesus and i say all the time y'all know my my favorite thing proper planning prevents piss poor performance one thing about me i might be running behind for like meeting up with the girls i'm gonna be running behind for meeting up with the girls because for one, them right there, my friends, them right there, especially my one friend, Tynette, she wants she want to go to stuff early. Baby, I don't want to be there real, real early. She wants to be, if the function starts at 8, she wants to be there at 7.30, 8 o'clock. Baby, if a function starts at 8, I want to go at 10. If it's over with at 12, I don't want to go real, real early, be the first ones there. But anyways, so I'm like, um, I just, it just came in my mind. Y'all know I get to think about stuff. I'm just like, when I edit this vlog, it's going to be a whole bunch of talking. I need to just hush. Because I don't like all these talking scenes because it takes away. I have to shorten other scenes up. But anyways, I might be late for the girls. But when it comes to appointments, like my nail appointment, if I got to make a point, I'm not going to be late. Like doctor's appointments, I'm going to be early because I don't like to push people behind. I don't like to inconvenience people. I don't like to do that. And if I feel like I'm going to inconvenience you and I'm going to push you behind, I'm going to cancel. And I'm going to pay you still. But waiting till the last minute to do things is putting bare minimum effort into doing it. To me, this is my opinion. I think people that wait till the last minute to do things is giving you bare minimum effort. So therefore, you're going to get bare minimum results. When you're running late and you're pushing the other person behind, more than likely they're going to have to rush on you because they got something else to do and they don't want to be behind. So you're going to get a rush job. Okay, I done made it home, y'all. And our little Amazon wig came right. I'm not going to... Um, like put it on put it on like to get dressed but we're gonna see what is if it's gonna work because we got a backup plan but we're gonna see if it's gonna work came from amazon <clears throat> this is the box it just says pixie cut wig child let's see i ain't never got no wig from amazon child this was like a, I need this little style real quick and in the fast, real quick, fast and in a hurry. And you know, Amazon come real, real fast. And like I said, this ain't supposed to be like a forever moment. Um, so anyways, in the box, it's just got a wig cap and um, the wig. Let me take it out the little thing or whatever. See what we... Child, why I feel like this is gonna be so funny. This is really, I'm really letting y'all see real time moment. <laughs> I don't even wanna put the stocking cap on with it right now. Cause I'm, like I said, just gonna play with it for a second. See what we working with. If we working with something. Let me try. This is gonna be funny. <laughs> it's gonna be funny. Oh Lord. Let's see. Child. Okay. Let's see. Of course, I know I'm going to I'm have to adjust this because I got a little old head. For real, for real. 
<clears throat> Little old bitty bean head. How I pull it tighter. <sighs> Child, I'm so tired. I hate when I do this. I hate when I get off of work and I be excited about doing something. And then once I get off, I be like, mm, I don't feel like doing that. It was raining when I was on my way home, though. So. Baby. When I tell you, I don't like wigs. I be feeling like wigs be giving wigs, baby. Make sure I got the thing on right. Come on. Y'all, let me play with them, baby. So, basically, what I'm finna do is take in. I wonder if I can curl this. I hope so. But, um, what I'm finna basically do is just cut it around, um, like cut my ear out and play with this so it's like pieced and yeah that's what i'm gonna do okay y'all so this is not the full end um look because i'm gonna tweak it probably a little bit more but i did trim it like around the ends and like thinned it out a little bit but it's gonna get the look that it's going to get it done. Now, I ain't going to bag on no little date or nothing with this on. I ain't going to bag on no date. They're going to be like, um, yeah, and no. But, I mean, I probably can go out with like my homegirls with it on, but not no man. Because a man going to be like, I don't know what you, what you think you going to help me head. But, um, yeah, it's, it's not bad though. It's not bad. It, it's the look. I feel like once I put my lashes and my um once I put my lashes and uh, stuff on, it'll be it'll be okay. But yeah, like I said, I got this from Amazon. Okay, Amazon, we got the job done today. But yeah. We'll play with it some more when we actually gonna put it on and do something with it. Helmet head. Okay, this is the look. We have on a black long sundress or whatever, maxi dress. The Louis Vuitton slides, a gold bag, and these are the Bottega um, earrings. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna get in the car. Oh, yeah, we um did a sleek ponytail, but I'm gonna talk to y'all. I'm gonna get in the car. I'm L R E E full nigga suit. That means I ain't gotta wear it by no full nigga chin. And I'm S I N G L E again. I'll be hanging out the window with my wretched ass friends. I'm L R E E full nigga suit. That means I ain't gotta wear it by no full nigga chin. And I'm S I N G L E again. I'll be hanging out the window with my wretched ass friends. So y'all, I did not, I did not um come back and talk to y'all after I left the house after showing y'all what I had on. But I am with Dominique now. Yeah, I'm with Dominique. Hi y'all. The birthday girl. So we out here in these streets. We've been drinking or whatever. So. I don't know what we finna do. I'm trying to convince her to act like a birthday girl because she trying to act like a granny right now. <laughs> <laughs> but we not finna be no granny tonight. It's her birthday and we finna turn up because this is my baby and I love her and I need her to have fun on her birthday. So we finna convince her to like, we're gonna go home. We're gonna put some more clothes on because we giving, we giving aunties right now. We need to give, she got on jeans and like tennis shoes and stuff and we need to give Street like wear. yeah she she got on like streetwear she cute or whatever she you know she giving like chill vibes but i'm gonna need her to get it that sexy vibe or whatever because it's her birthday and we need to go get the we need to go get the niggers the niggas yeah y'all know how i act when i get drunk so not, not saying that niggas. i'm drunk not but you know we've been niggas. drinking or whatever so 
It's my bitch birthday. I love this girl so much. That's my baby. Ride or die. Ride or die. But I'm gonna come back and talk to y'all when we figure out what we're gonna do. You can catch me at a chat team slam with your hoe. I ain't popping out at parties, got a booty for a show. You say, Yeah, be living fair. Nah, put the booty slow. Hey, we hopping out at red light, twerking on them headlights. She say she can't come out fast, but that, that means she's scared, right? I be put up in the room in the summer, pop out at night. Bragging on that nigga, talk to you better hold his head like. Good morning, happy Sunday, fun day. Although we will not be spending Sunday fun day together on this vlog, I wanted to come out and close this vlog because I didn't close it out last night. Well, I did, but I ended up deleting me closing it out last night, telling y'all good night. We had so much fun last night. Well, yesterday. Yesterday ended up being a very good day. Going out, eating, drinking with Dominique for her birthday. It was very... I always have a good time with her. We had a good conversation. You know, it's 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 always good with us. And then I end up inviting another friend. We had a good time. So um I came home last night, made Junior something to eat, and that was it. I was in the house for the rest of the night. I laid my tail down and went to sleep. Overall, very, very good Saturday. I really enjoyed my Saturday. It's been a while since I enjoyed my Saturday. I usually get off of work and come home and do nothing, but I did not do that yesterday. We had a good time for her birthday. I think she appreciated it. Um, her and her uh, boyfriend going on a dinner cruise today to celebrate her birthday because he, could, he couldn't, I guess, make reservations for, for her birthday yesterday, so he's doing it today with her. So she'll be spending the day with, today with her man, so. Anyways, uh, as for me, I'm going to close this vlog. I, I might start another vlog, but I'm really just in like a little peaceful, good area, area right now. So, I don't know. I might not even vlog today. I might just chill out at the house. I'm making this boy some lasagna. Lasagna. Whatever Shamar say. Some lasagna. I'm making some lasagna for... Uh, my son right now so i'm gonna cook it's still very early get this out the way chill out and figure out if i want to do something today i really don't feel no need to do nothing today because i had such a good time yesterday that i'm really just cool with just chilling today not leaving the house relaxing but if i get a call like pull up come on get out the house I might do it, but anyways, I'm going to see y'all on the next vlog. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.